Monday, nearly two dozen school districts in our viewing area will either begin in person learning, digital learning, or a combination of the two. That includes three of the four largest school districts in the state. More than 300,000 students are enrolled in Cobb County, DeKalb County, and Fulton County school districts. All three are starting the school year with just digital learning. Now, Fulton County hopes it won't have to stick with virtual learning for the entire year. The school district eventually wants to get back to in person learning, but it says it all depends on how COVID 19 is spreading in the county. The superintendent says they could bring kids back into the classroom sometime after Labor Day, but only if they fall below 100 cases of COVID 19 per 100,000 people in the county. Teachers, however, will be going back into the classrooms on Monday. Meanwhile, schools that have let students come back to the classroom already are still dealing with new COVID-19 cases and quarantines. In the second week of school for Cherokee County, the district recorded 79 new COVID-19 infections in students and staff. That's more than double from last week. More than 1,000 students are under quarantine. For reference, there are about 42,000 students in the district. Now, two of the district's high schools have moved to virtual learning because of this until at least August 31st. Now, yesterday, dueling protests over how Paulding County School District handles learning during a pandemic. This was going on at Veterans Memorial Park in Dallas. One group calling for the district to go all virtual, the other urging the district to keep the in-person option. The school district closed North Paulding High School earlier this week because of COVID cases, but they will be able to go back on Monday with some new measures in place. One of the changes, the number of people inside the school will be cut in half. That means students will rotate between in-person and virtual learning throughout the week. This week across the district, they reported 54 cases among its students and staff.